and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you an easy open eyes effect. I've got some simple footage here, you will find that via description link below. And the first thing that we need is a new item, so right click in your projects menu, new item and then select black video. By default it has the size of your sequence. If you need a different size, adjust it with height and width. Then click on OK, put it in your timeline, make sure it's as long as your footage. So we've got it now on video channel 2, it's just purely black. Make sure you've got it selected, so not the footage below on video channel 1, we need a black video on video channel 2. There's the opacity function and we need the ellipse right below it. Just click on it, you should get this black circle. And you can drag the anchor points left, right, up and down. I'll make it a bit bigger than our screen size. And now we'll have to invert it. So just click on this box and increase the feather. The values depend a little bit on your footage, but for me around 100 to 150 is fine. Keep the opacity at 100% and a mask expansion at zero. So this is our starting point, but you can see it's not animated or anything. It's just kind of like a vignette. So we need to animate it and we can use the mask path for that. Just go to a position, let's just say right here. Then I click on the animation icon and we've got our first keyframe. Now I get to the starting point and now I want to close it. Just activate the mask again by clicking on it in the effect controls. And now you can reposition your anchor points. Let me zoom in. And I overlap both anchor points to close it fully. So now it's black. And if I roll the clip, we've got it animated. It makes sense to use more than just these two keyframes, so let me go a little bit to the right. You can also reposition them right here, but let me create a new one. Now I close the eye slightly again, so it goes from closed to open to slightly closed. That's what I want. So again, activate the mask. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I bring the anchor points closer together, but not fully closed this time. And again, new keyframe. This time we'll open our eyes again, activate the mask, and drag the anchor points further apart. Let me go one step ahead, new keyframe, activate the mask, and expand it so that the full screen size is covered. Let me roll the clip. If you don't like the timing of it, as I've said before, you can drag around these keyframes. So let me do this. For example, I'll make the second close a little bit faster and the second opening slower. And it looks way better. And this is how you can create this easy eye opening effect in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.